Hello, my name is Greg George, and today I'm going to show a basic brace demo using Geomagic Freeform Plus here. Um, so as you can see, I do have a, uh, a 3D scan here of this anatomy, and I'm just going to show you how you can create a basic brace using Geomagic Freeform. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a plane out in space, right? So there is my plane from that perspective. I'm going to come over here and say I want to sketch on and come in and zoom in. And I'm going to use this curve tool to come over here and draw where I want the brace to be. And this will make a little more sense here in a second once you see how the tool works. But what we have is a tool that we've created that allows you to create a brace in a very few steps. Um, so if I create that curve, you know, if I if if I want this to be a little more flat, I can come over here and edit this and ma manipulate this and move this over here. You know, you can see here how you can drag this around. There we go. So I created that shape. And I'm going to go ahead and get out of that sketch tool. So I have a plane and I drew this profile of where I want the brace to be. And I'm going to come over to this tool called uh, Shell Cut Clay. With Shell Cut Clay, what you can do is you can select the curve. You can dictate the offset value that you want to use. And then, so I'm going to offset a four millimeter shape and I'm going to hit apply and what it'll do is it'll go ahead and create the offset shape and trim it to that object all in one step. So what it really does here is it creates an extrusion through, it creates an offset of the anatomy, it intersects the extrusion with the offset of the anatomy of the overlapping area, then booleans the interior geometry away. So what that inevitably does is creates this offset shape. See that? It went ahead, and if I go ahead and turn the arm off, see it creates that shape for me. So now I have this brace. Now, in this instance, because if I was going to print this, I would not be able to get my hand in there unless it was rubber or something. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and show how you can create a... Um, uh, split along the side. So we'll go ahead and hide the brace, show the arm again and activate its piece. And um, you can go ahead and you can use this 3D curve tool to draw right down the shape of the part. So if I come over here and I can follow. I'm just using the haptic device and I'm following the shape of the piece and I'm going to turn on the fitting real quick there we go and now essentially just drawing it all the way down create that shape there so that's where I want my split to be now I have a neat little tool in here called the ridge tool with Ridge, what you can do is it's essentially like creating a sweep. It has these different sample profiles that you can use. In this instance, I'm going to use the square, and I'm going to create a, a tall square that's very thin that then we're going to use to Boolean away. Now, you can plug in any shape that you want using a sketch. And what you do is you select this, and you see it does all the heavy lifting for you. It's, you see, this looks like the Great Wall of China here, right? I, I have this square, and it's going to follow the normal direction of the surface all the way down the topology of the shape with the dimensions that I have. So I, I type in dimensions in the settings here where I say I want a 11-inch thick with 1-inch wide wall down the surface of the part. And it will create that following the normal, following the curve, 
of the piece. And then I can dictate what I want my resolution to be of that piece. So if I come over here and I'll say, let's do a point 0.1 insert, and then it will calculate and create that shape for me. And then what I do now is I can take that ridge and I can turn on my shell cut over here and I will just Boolean away and I'll just get out of the command first and I'll just come over here and say I want to Boolean away remove from the shell cut and then go ahead and hide it and then we'll activate the brace itself. So there we have. So now if I was going to print this out of a plastic or a nylon or something like that, this is possible that I can open this up. I could just pull it open or I could continue on and create splits on the other sides as well, depending on what I, depending on what material it is, right? Um, I could create a split and then create a split here and there and do it that way. And then if you wanted to, you could always import hinges or clips and apply those to it. There's a whole host of things that you can do. Now, one other thing that we want, might want to do that we see often is maybe you want to create some air vents or holes or something in here. So you can always come in and say, I want to activate the underlying piece, hide my brace. And if I wanted to draw again directly on the surface of the anatomy, you can create maybe air vent holes. Again, I'm not going to do this exactly perfectly here, but if I wanted this shape there, I could create that and then come over using the emboss with curve and then say what side that I want to emboss and I emboss it thicker than the surface of my brace itself. So if I come over and turn the brace on, you'll see that there's that shape and obviously I wouldn't want to get that close to the edge. But this just, just shows the concept here of what I would want to do where I come down to uh, Boolean, where I'm going to go ahead and Boolean that away. The shell cut piece there. And then you'll see that once it's done, I'll turn the anatomy off and there's a piece. And then one final thing that people often like to do is go ahead and uh, place a logo on there for their company that makes these braces. So if I come over here to the emboss with image here, I can come in and I can say, let's grab this Octon logo here. And I can just use the plus minus on my keyboard. Zoom in. And just stamp the logo right there. And I accidentally clicked... See that how it's a little ghosted? Just click once there. So there is my logo and you can actually offset the geometry. So if I wanna say, let's do a 0.1 offset in, hit apply. You see I created that and you can always go higher than that if you wanted to. So if I do like 0.2 and if I do an offset two, just preview it, hit apply, there we go. So you see here, we've created this brace from the anatomy. If I wanna do it like a smooth on the anatomy, I can do that before I do the create the brace, stamp the logo. And then now, if you're ready to go ahead and create this piece, I can take this piece and um, say I wanna export it. PLY, STL, OBJ, save out the pieces and then go print. So this is a just a basic walkthrough of how you would create a, a super basic brace within Geomagic Freeform.